Portland witness Saturday, Sergeant Brian Bauer with Phoenix Police Department here to talk about a felony theft. Uh, this one is a bit unusual. This is. This is a very unusual case mm -hmm. uh, that involves a giant spoon. Okay. Dairy Queen, tell yes. me the location and who our suspects are. Yeah, so Dairy Queen, 51st Avenue and Indian, or I'm sorry, 51st Avenue and Thomas mm -hmm. Road. Uh, we have two male suspects and a female suspect. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to see in the video here is the male suspect, a uh, white Hispanic male with a very large beard. He's seen cutting the spoon from its, its holded area uh, where it's locked up. Uh, grabbing the spoon and walking off and loading it into the trailer of his truck. So as we're watching this video, uh, number one, you need the tools right, to cut this out. Number two, uh, they have this very large trailer. Does it appear that this may have been planned? So, I mean, I don't want to speculate on exactly what the purpose is of, of them committing this crime is, but they did come prepared with the trailer. It's a, a very large 12 to 15 foot red spoon that we're looking at here. So you can't just put this on top of a car. You have to have something to load this onto. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something detectives are looking into. This is a, a display of sorts, right? Right in front of a restaurant. Why is it considered a felony theft? Well, it's considered a felony theft because of the value of the spoon itself. Mm -hmm. So when officers were out there speaking with the owner of that Dairy Queen, uh, because the, the amount is 3500 for the replacement of the spoon, mm -hmm. that's what brings it into okay. a felony theft. Uh, great camera angles. We have an excellent shot of them um, talking to each other on the side of the building. Excellent shot of the truck as well. That's very helpful. Yes. Well, what's also helpful is uh, these people will stand out. I mean, if you're driving down the street and you see a giant red spoon mm -hmm. hanging out of somebody's truck or in their garage, definitely contact Silent Witness at 480 Witness or 480 Testigo because a red spoon like that definitely does stand out mm -hmm. whenever you're going through the neighborhood or you're just driving down the street. You know, All right, so that. this happened recently, March 25th around 6 a.m., so a lot of traffic. Yeah, okay. absolutely, a lot of traffic and a lot of people watching. Uh, so again, we're reaching out to the public to help us locate this spoon. Who are we looking for? We're looking for three different suspects, two males, mm -hmm. one female. Uh, we need to speak with them, find out exactly where the spoon is, and try to get it back to the owner. All right, so 480 Witness, you will remain anonymous. We'll make sure all that information is on our website, fox10phoenix.com. We'll be right back.